pitcher before it is lit. Hello, my name is Zach Johansson. I am the Viking Gaffer. Today's lesson is, why light? There are some important reasons for having lights and a knowledge of lighting technique, whether you're shooting still photos or moving pictures. That's pretty obvious. As Harry C. Box says, a film without light is radio. Light gives the image visibility. Flood a scene with frontal light and you now see someone is there and what they look like. Some reasons are not so obvious. If you want to see depth in the picture, position a light to make a shadow. Shadow creates the third dimension. The third dimension is depth. Putting a lit surface against dark and a dark surface against light also gives depth to the image. The placement of a light can create separation and this too is depth. How much you can see in the shadows helps give objects good texture or smoothness and helps visibility, depth, and the next point, mood. Lighting helps create the mood. You want the audience to feel happy, like in a comedy, energetic, like in an action, or even fearful, like in a horror. You should know how to control light by putting it where you want to have visibility and cutting off what you don't want seen. Commercials are lit to focus on the object of the commercial, a car, shoes, or a phone as an example. Use light to focus your audience's attention to where you want them to look. If it's an interview-driven documentary or a corporate video, you want the audience to connect with the people or product. Knowledge of lighting techniques and different types of lighting equipment help achieve this with certainty and quality. Well, I could keep talking, but that's my answer to the question, why light? I hope this has answered the question for you. Good light and good luck. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe by clicking below. Till next time, remember, there is no picture before it is lit.